Okay everybody, welcome to 20 mini mixed version of this week's programme. So we're going to start off straight away with Warrior. You're going to have your left foot turn to the front and then you're going to turn your right foot towards your side, your right side. Wiggle that toe away from your body, bend that knee. Mustn't come over that front heel and we're turning the hips towards the front of the room, palms towards the front, well I say the front, facing that front foot that's forward facing, arms lifted in line with your shoulder, palms to that wall, you should feel a little bit of a lengthening here in this hip flexor, so my right foot is forward and I'm turning to the right, so now you get a bit of a stretch there, and then return, Breathing in and exhale. Breathing in and exhale. Let's do one more like this. Bring it down with the arms and then turn the face to the side and then the other side. Just a couple of face turns just to Lengthen your neck flexors. We're taking the right hand now down the front of that right leg and just hinging through the hips to get a deep stretch here in this hip and your lower back as well. Turn your hips out to the side and then we can come here with the arm or here and just have a lovely stretch there. Breathe in and exhale. And another one, close the arms in, walk yourself up and then watch the tech change. The front foot turns now to the side and the back foot now turns to what was the back and now is the front. Arms are in line with the shoulders again, palms are forward. You're going to bend that front leg there and rotate just a couple of times, just Warming up your spine, getting a little bit of rotation in the spine, you're lengthening your inner thigh and that back leg. Bring the arms down, do a couple, two or three face turns, try and keep your face in line with the wall, nice and vertical. And then you can have that hip still turned out a little bit, but left hand down the front of that left foot, hinge through the hips, turn out the hip as well and then just bring this arm up here, have a couple of breaths here, bring both hands in and walk yourself back up, we're going straight into a lunge, so we're taking both feet forwards now, so that back foot is in line with the front one, both legs are lengthened, just get your form right while that back heel just lengthens out there to get a stretch and then we'll take it into a Pilates lunge. So crown is going to come down towards the coccyx, okay, we'll lift up this back heel and literally get that back knee into a right angle. I don't want that back knee bearing out, I want it in line with that foot and then push up. Just do a couple here, get a feel for it, if it's not feeling comfortable in the knee then just make that angle a little bit wider and go forwards. Just keep your back nice and straight, you just hinge through your hip, bending it less acutely in the back there. So choose your option and I'm going to come down five, with or without, woo, done weight. Remember to lift your pelvic floor, belly button in, so everything's super engaged. Keep that knee from wandering out, you can protect it really nicely if it's narrow, narrowly, narrowly in your midline. And then if we wish, we can, without sticking your bottom out, without sticking your chest out, bring the band in as well. So we'll do 15 here. 
really getting some engagement in that front quad. Super. Five more. So stick the chest out and then we'll stretch that out in a minute. Just bring your feet down, wander your feet round so that we are now swapping sides. So this front knee can now bend, crown above this coccyx. Let's get this knee so that it's nice and in line with that back foot. Just enjoy that little stretch. Uh, we're gonna just do a couple of these while that stretch is there. And remember, you can keep without the band for the dumb waiter. Elbows tucked in, your, your rib cage nice and soft towards your hips. And then let's just add on the lunge, really getting that knee nice and into the midline. It must not pucker out. And then add on the band. So 15 here, just check that front knee as well isn't overshooting that ankle crown above your coccyx unless you're choosing to do your physio lunge there you'll get it in that back glute rather than the front quad if you choose that one so we're about 10 more before we get down and stretch out that quadricep And one. I'm thinking like we did an extra five. So I'll just do a few more here. And then we're all equal. Three, two, belly button in, lift that pelvic floor. And then we are getting straight down on the floor. So remember, you can lunge down onto the floor. We're in sideline series. So I'll see you down there. Great. So lunge yourself down. Just have your band handy. I think we need that. And your cushions there. So I'm going to have one cushion, arm lengthened away. Uh, with the arm there, I only need one for this. Bottom knee crooked. We're lengthening out this quad after all that work. Scooping the coccyx under. Squeeze that heel into your bottom. And we'll just, we'll just rest here for 30 seconds there. And then we're going into sideline series. Beautiful. Nice big stretch there. Coming into a dark position, toes in line with your fingertips here. Hips are stacked, remember they mustn't wobble at all. Lift that pelvic floor, soft shoulder. Shoulders are nice and lined. We're gonna lift, flex. Inhale to lower, ready to exhale, lift, flex. Inhale, lower. Keep your hand here for now, but I want you to now think about taking that hand away suddenly. We need to just super engage the core to stop you wobble. Belly button in, lift that pelvic floor, soft shoulders. Okay, pop the, just one more, and then pop the hand there. Be real mindful that you're not sticking your chest out or wobbling there. Toe in line with the hip. We're doing three circles forward with the hand there, and then three behind. I want you to think about what muscles you're going to need to really engage to have a go to take them off. Okay, so let's take them off. Remember, don't move your back, your spine say it stays still. Secure everything by super engaging that core, lifting and the pelvic floor, keeping the hips, ribs close to those hips. So three behind and then replace the hand because we're taking the upper notch with big circles. We're taking three forwards, 
using that glute to get the leg behind rather than bending the back or the knee and then let's take three the other way think about what you're going to need to secure everything to move mobilize and rotate that leg without your hand there that's it should have no pain if you're bending in your hips if you're wiggling at your spine then you need to pop your hand back you really feel this on your inner and outer thigh there one more and then we're going into a little bit different we'll give this a little bit of a rest before we come into the clam so we're coming into hip raises on this elbow which is underneath the shoulder and uh, you're taking your legs behind keeping your knees in line with those hips here breathing and as if you've got a rope around that waist we're lifting and lowering so it's exhale breathing in for three two and one have a little breathe and then five four three two and one now i'm going to give you an option we can come down extend this leg and lift and lower notice we're not moving the spine we're not cre creasing in the length is through the leg and you're making the lift with your muscles. You're not bending your back and you're not compromising the levelling of your hips there. Three, two, one. And then you can stay here or we can come up. So the hips are still stacked, lifting the pelvic floor. We've got our shoulders stacked, everything's level. And we'll do 10 here, two sets of five, before we go into the clam. So this gives you a bit of a rest. Because <laughs> actually when you do the clam, you're using slightly different muscles. Have a break, breathe. And last five, four, three, two, and one. No bend in that back. Keep everything straight, crown, top of your back top of your bottom and those knees beautiful and straight so for the clam get yourself nice and comfortable you can do it here if you wish you need, do need to bring your knees more forward so your heels are now in line with your bottom flex your feet push down those heels and come up with those knees separating keeping your hips flexed and you can be down on the floor like we started like this. Notice the arm is under so that you're not compromising this line in your shoulder, which needs to be straight, just like your hips. So I'm going to give you the option to pop the band on. It is an option. You don't need to do this. I know it's hard enough, but we can be up or down just like we had a look at there. For these to be effective, we want to do another 25. <laughs> Slow. Breathe. I'm ready for 15 more. Belly button in. Push down those heels, two sets of five. Brilliant, good. Okay, so let's swap over. We can just go onto this muscle here and do a little circle. So that left side is up. That's the one that's been doing the work. So I'm going to just roll on that left glute and then swivel round. Do exactly the same on the other side. So I've got your cushion and your band. So we'll stretch out that 
quadricep first of all. Check your tip of your fingertips are in line with those toes, hips are stacked, bend that bottom leg, lift this one up and just scoop that coccyx under. I don't want your rib cage flaring, I just want you stretching here. So this is your 30 second stretch for this part of the program. Enjoy. Well done. Have your hands there. Shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. We are lifting that foot, flex and lower. Lift, flex, inhale, lower, ready to exhale, lift, flex it, inhale, lower. Do you want to take away this hand, see how it feels? Okay, you can stay with this or you can pop this here, soft shoulders, remember, ready to do a circle of your toe around the hip, three forwards, ooh, no movement in that spine, three behind. Before you take it away, engage even more of those muscles, prevent that wobble, a breath each manoeuvre, and then reverse. Squeeze that glute, it's the only way to get that back, that leg back without making you back bend to take it back. Okay, pop the hand there, lift, let's try bigger circles if we can, but with the support of the hand you can Train yourself, gauge yourself to know what you're going to need. Once that hand's gone, start to engage everything now on your reverse. Oh, really lengthen that leg, squeeze that glute. Don't bend that lower back. Are we ready? Take it away. Breathing in, exhale. Two, three, ready, reverse. Try not to swoop, great, okay, let's come up uh, into lifting and lowering the hips. So we'll start to use our obliques before we use any more of this action with your legs. Well, you're going to use your legs as well, but we're going to do some lift and lowers. Elbow is in line with the hip the knees as well, so those legs are behind. Rope around the waist, breathe in, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, breathe in to lower. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, so option, staying on the floor, lift and lower this leg. You can do soft shoulder, three, two, and one. Or we can come up with the hips and do the same again. Last five. Four, are we in a lovely line? Three, two, and one. And then let's get on with this lovely clap. So we flex the feet, push through the heels. Five, four, three, two. Remember, you can be lying down with your arm under, pillow on top, in a super line, or we can be up if you're up. You're just using some of your obliques, getting that arm working as well, which is no bad thing. So we've got 15 of these, and then we're ready to finish with your abs and a little quick stretch. Don't let that hip roll out. Last two sets of five. Okay, how's your elbow? Is it tucked underneath that, directly underneath that shoulder it needs to be? Last set 
set here. And five, bring it in, out of that. Come down onto the back, so you're in supine, looking up. You can have this cushion here, but you might not need it because you might take it up a level to use your upper back. So to start off, one foot on the floor, one leg in tabletop, so neutral pelvis. We're breathing in to take the arms up and round without moving the rib cage. Notice that leg extends as well. So three, two, and one. And then swap over. Nice and soft in that supporting foot. Maintain that neutrality. We're practicing rib cage closer, closure. Last one. And then we're swapping over, bringing chin to chest, and as well your thoracic if you wish. Five, just getting that leg straight, mobilising that hip a little bit. Don't let that knee come further forward than your hips. Swap over. How's your chest is it nice and soft soft foot watch the change this is an option you can scoot your coccyx under come into tabletop and do several here and you can swap your feet don't let the tabletop leg move forward otherwise you don't use these beauties let's do four on each side Lift that pelvic floor, get that lower back into the mat. Choose your option, you might like your feet on the floor. Okay, one foot down at a time. Come out of neutral pelvis. Get rid of this. Arms outstretched, palms to the floor. Breathe in. And secure that core on the exhale. Take your knees to the right, eyes to the left. Breathing in and out for just a couple of breaths there. On that next exhale, secure everything, bring those knees up, roll to the other side. Secure, come up. I'd like six more of whichever option you were challenged, but safe with. Oh, hang on. So three on each side, keep that lower back into the mat. Beautiful job. One foot at a time to return to the mat. Roll to the side. We're going to finish with a beautiful stretch. Half Lord of the Flies, it's called. Lengthen that left leg away. Pop your right leg over. And just have your opposite arm just resting on that knee. Turn behind. Hips are forward to take the shoulders back. And breathe. Come back to the front, swap yourself around and stretch. Well done. Tick, Pilates. Namaste.